Now, see a capacitor of 100 microfarad is connected to an AC source of EMF E is equal to 220 sin 100 pi T. So, EMF at any instant is given to you 220 that is here sin 100 pi T which is actually parallel to E is equal to E naught sin omega T. So, here we can write E naught is equal to 220 volt and omega is equal to 100 pi. So, that means, so if you get a need to calculate frequency, so you can write here 2 pi nu is equal to 100 pi. So, nu is equal to 50 hertz. If it is required, you can calculate it. Otherwise, without this also we can do. And C is equal to here 10 microfarad that is 10 into 10 raised to power minus 6 farad here. So, everything we have calculated in SI unit here. Now, we have to calculate what is the reading of AC ammeter connected in the circuit. That means, that will be the IRMS or the current shown by, shown by the ammeter here. So, we have to calculate IRMS value. For that, we have been given here the total maximum peak value of EMF here that is the peak value of EMF or but we have not given here XE. So, first we have to calculate resistance offered by capacitor. So, now let us calculate resistance offered by capacitor. So, all these data we will be using. So, we know it x c is equal to 1 upon omega c that is here 1 upon 2 pi nu c. We can write x c is equal to that is here in place of omega we have been already given here. So, we can write 1 upon 100 into pi into here we can write 10 into 10 raised to power minus 6. When we solve it, we will be getting 318.5 ohm. So, this is the capacitive reactance obtained from here. So, by solving. So, we have been already given the peak value of EMF. So, we can write I naught is equal to 220 divided by 318.5 ampere and we can calculate it and it will be coming approximately 0 0.691 ampere. If we know maximum current or that is the peak value of current, we can calculate effective value of current that is I RMS. So, I RMS can be written here I naught upon root 2. So, that is 0 0.691 divided by root 2 and when you solve it, you will be getting here around 0 0.489 ampere. So, this is the current shown by the ammeter connected in capacitive circuit here. Now, the last part of here this thing, we have to write down equation for instantaneous current. So, see here, we can write equation for instantaneous current because we know this thing in capacitive circuit I is equal to I naught sin omega t plus pi upon 2 current is ahead of the emf applied or the voltage applied so we can write i is equal to i naught already we have calculated it was 0 0.691 sin in place of omega already we have got here 100 pi so this is here 100 pi t plus pi upon 2 so this will be the equation for the instantaneous value of current